And I think the big question for everybody in the room is when do we begin to innovate? Do we, do we begin, you know, once we're out of this economic challenge? Do we begin once we're comfortable that we're through, you know, the difficult times that we're seeing around the world? Or do we make the conscious decision right now, each and every one of us, that we are going to focus on the future from this point on? We're going to innovate and be ready for when we see that headline. I was talking to one event in October as the meltdown was beginning to occur and the CEO was on stage and part of his message was, you know, look, given what's happening, we have three choices. Number one, we can panic. Number two, we can do nothing. Or number three, we can continue to innovate, change, and adapt. You know what I like in the, the, what we're going through this period of time? I call it the seven stages of economic grief. When you lose a loved one, you go through a bereavement process. You go the, through the stages of grief. You go through the anger stage. You go through the denial phase. And eventually, after a, after a period of time, you, you get to the acceptance stage. You think about the, the, the rate at which these developments unfolded. I think a lot of us, for the last several months, we've been in the absolute shock phase. We're looking at our investments. We're in the anger stage. We're looking at our investments. We're in the denial stage. And, and, and what is happening within a lot of organizations, we're all like in North American phrase, we're like deer in the headlights. You know, we're, we're, we're standing here frozen. We don't know what to do next. You know, we turn on CNN and it is a constant bombardment of negative news. When do we innovate? We, we have to make a conscious decision right now. And that's why you're having this conference right now, to focus on growth, to focus on future, to, fo to focus on opportunity. It's a conscious decision to move aggressively right into the acceptance stage and we're going to start innovating for the future because we know we will see that economic recovery headline at some point in time in the future because we are going to be part of the people who are going to build the economic recovery. You notice, you notice what Intel has done? Intel has made the conscious decision that they are going to invest seven billion dollars in building new plant infrastructure building new chip, chip plant infrastructure, because their conscious decision is we're going to build for growth. We're going to make the conscious decision that we are going to be a driver of that growth.